Born and bred in the area, so we've known Haringey for years. Like you know, we can go back when we was little kids. We used to have school sports here years ago oh, yeah. when we were juniors. Yeah. 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 So we can go back. Um, we're talking about 50, 60, 70 years ago now. <laughs> well, every time I think of Ron, I'll, I'll talk about him with a smile on my face. Um, it's we score a goal. The players go off and celebrate. I punch a couple of air punches in the air, then I turn around to see where all that uh, noise is coming from. Uh, you could hear the bell ends singing, laughing, screaming. But every time I turn around and I look in that direction, the first person I see is Ron, and he's uh, infectious smile. <laughs> yeah. And then I look alongside him. He's got his wife sitting next to him with 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 a big smile on her face, and the rest of the family, the boys. Well, um, you used to see him at away games. I, I haven't got a clue how we got there. Him and his missus. I remember him turning up at Folkestone and Bogner. And you think, good on you, you know what I mean? I know he was a senior citizen, but he managed to get to games. And it was always a pleasure to see him at games. Of late, you know, you turn around and you do the same thing. You look in that direction, hoping to see Ron and he's not there. And then you see his wife sitting there and she's got half a smile. I think she misses him a lot. We miss him um, a lot as well uh, as a football club. Are you recording now? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 